in the name of God and prayers and peace be upon the messenger of God. We have come to the words of God Almighty. He said, I complain of my sorrow and grief to Allah alone, and I know from Allah what you do not know. Jacob, peace be upon him, teaches us how to remove the worries and sorrows that afflict the human soul by conversing with God, praying to him, and beseeching him. The path of the prophets leads to salvation and freedom from worries and sorrows. Our Lord Almighty said, We send down in the Quran healing and mercy for believers, and it increases the wrongdoers in nothing but loss. The path of Islam and monotheism provides consolation for everything that befalls a person and cures psychological illnesses. Although Jacob said, and I know from God what you do not know, he did not neglect to work according to causality law. He began directing his sons to search for Joseph and his brother and gave them the general map. The next verse, O oh my sons, go inquire about Joseph and his brother and do not despair of Allah's comfort. None despairs of Allah's comfort except the disbelieving people. There are several signs in this noble verse that we must not fail to notice. First, our attention is drawn to Jacob's gentle, compassionate tone towards his children, even though they caused him great sorrows, hurt him, took his son Joseph away from him. However, hearts full of faith and the religion of monotheism are not separated from the tender feelings and sincere feelings, especially the feelings of fatherhood that Jacob feels towards his children. In contrast, disbelief causes insensitivity and stagnation of feelings towards the closest relatives. And this is what we saw in the tone of the father of the prophet Abraham. Despite the good treatment of Abraham, peace be upon him, toward his father, as Abraham preached him to believe in God out of fear of God's wrath and torment, his father's answer was harsh. As we see in the words of God Almighty, he said, Are you renouncing my gods, O Abraham? If you do not desist, I will stone you. So leave me alone for a long while. In Jacob's words to his sons, O oh my sons, go inquire about Joseph and his brother. We understand that he specified for them the place to go and search and told them that Joseph and his brother were in the same place. His saying, go inquire about Joseph and his brother, means using the senses of hearing and sight, picking up news and signals, sifting through information, analyzing and revising it, and deriving a conclusion about the whereabouts of Joseph and his brother. This is a plan in researching and working according to the law of causality. Then Jacob, peace be upon him, forbids them from despairing of God's relief and mercy, saying, and do not despair of Allah's comfort. None despairs of Allah's comfort except the disbelieving people. Here, Jacob, peace be upon him, teaches us an important rule in the faith, which is that despair has no way into the hearts of monotheistic believers who follow in the footsteps of the prophets and the righteous. No matter how severe the affliction is, how many difficulties, troubles, and disasters befall believers, and no matter how intense their distress is, their hope in God should not be cut off. We note that Jacob, peace be upon him, did not link despair of God's mercy with an advice or a wisdom, but rather linked it directly to disbelief, meaning that a person's despair of God's relief and mercy is an indicator of disbelief. On the other hand, the believer remains hopeful in God no matter how sever his condition becomes. No matter how oppressive and tyrannical the tyrants are, no matter how much injustice there is and how much the oppressed suffer, no matter how much the prisons are filled with innocence, and no matter how much torture and suffering the believers suffer for the sake of God, despair of God does not reach their hearts, but rather they remain in good faith in the nearness of God's mercy and victory. There are many verses in the Quran that indicate the descending of God's mercy upon his patient servants after difficult times. For example, look at the words of God Almighty. And Job, when he cried out to his Lord, great harm has afflicted me and you are the most merciful of the merciful. So we answered him and we removed the affliction that was upon him and we restored his family to him and their likes with them. Mercy from us and a reminder to the servants.
and look at the words of God Almighty about the believing man from the family of Pharaoh when he exerted his effort in the preaching and said, you will remember what I am telling you and I commit my case to Allah. Allah is observant of the servants. So Allah protected him from the evils of their scheming and a terrible punishment besieged Pharaoh's clan. So God protected him from the evils of what they plotted and the worst of torment befell Pharaoh's family. God Almighty is saying, and do not despair of Allah's comfort. None despairs of Allah's comfort except the disbelieving people, inspires us patience and fills our souls with hope for God's victory and the end of distress. Jacob's sons left filled with hope and determination after they heard their father's words. In the following verse, then when they entered his presence, they said, Mighty governor, adversity has afflicted us and our family, and we have brought scant merchandise. But give us full measure and be charitable towards us. Allah rewards the charitable. The words, then when, indicates order step by step, meaning that after they heard their father's sermon, and were fueled with a load of hope, they walked to Egypt and met Joseph, peace be upon him again. This is considered the third entry of Jacob's sons into Joseph. The first time he gave them supplies and asked them to bring their brother. The second time he gave them supplies and kept his brother beside him, and this is the third time. They called upon Joseph, peace be upon him, with words of affection and respect for his position, and they said, mighty governor, for he had prestige and majesty, and he was worthy of his position and occupied it worthily. Then they explained about the intensification of the affliction upon them, and how the situation worsened and the years of drought affected them. And they said, adversity has afflicted us and our family, i.e. the long hardship has harmed them, old young women, children, and men. They're saying, and we have brought scant merchandise. But give us full measure and be charitable towards us. They mean that the goods they brought to barter with this time are bad and not suitable to be a price corresponding to the ample supplies that they are accustomed to taking from the generous governor of Egypt. In 